Are you filming? Yeah. There's light. There's light. You go first and hide in the. I'll go. go. I'll go, just go, go right go. behind you. A bird just flew. She's right there. She's looking. Hello, my fellow sniffers, and welcome, newbies. Okay, Nellie clearly has a lot to say to you guys today. For those of you who are new here, really, really, I want to welcome you. I'm so happy to have you here. Today, we are about to have some fun. Oh my god, the fun's about to start right now, because I see... Chris getting out of his car and walking up here. Okay, that just means I'm gonna have to go get the door. Okay, so here's what this video is about. As you can see from my room, um, it's kind of turned into like a merchandising house, literally packages going out every day. And I thought it would be funny to personally... Okay, there's the door, I can't tell you. You gotta wait and find out. Now, as soon as I open the door, I'm gonna tell you. Sandy! Sandy loves Chris. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, Chris! Whoa, look at you born into the light like that. Hi! I have not told them yet what we're gonna do today because I waited for you to get here. What are you excited about? Nelly's excited. So, stand it to the light, Chris. Here's what we're gonna do today, guys. Somebody ordered a package of three of my shirts and they live pretty close by within the vicinity. So I thought it would be funny to drop it off myself. Kind of like a prank, kind of like, I don't know. I'm nervous, but I wasn't as nervous until Chris got nervous and now Chris made me nervous and now we're both nervous. So we don't know if this is a good idea or a really bad idea, but either way, I think it's going to be fun. So Chris brought over to did you bring UPS clothes? I don't have any more. What? Find it. How am I gonna fake being the UPS person? I think I got rid of it when I moved, actually. Okay, okay. I know, I, I'm sure I've had since I was 19, so maybe we I We have to come up with a plan B. I think you just dress like normal. I'm, I'm so obvious, I'm like wearing a sniffer shirt. I mean, she's gonna know it's you, right? Okay, yeah, let's I see. I mean, how, how are they not gonna know? I don't know. Or how much more disguise were you gonna put on? I don't know, a hat, like tie my hair back, put the UPS shirt. Well, you'd be like, I mean, there's all these Amazon people. Yeah, I could be an Amazon person. We See, people get tripped out. You could, we could still call and pretend we're UPS and need sign delivery, and then like, they show up and I'm Amazon. Yeah, I mean, if that you happens. have anything that's sort of brownish too, that's Brown. brownish or Brown. whitish is FedEx, you know. FedEx, okay. Uh, I think I'll just wear this. Yellow is, what's it called? You're naming a lot of colors. I don't have, see my favorite color is black. <laughs> Are you laughing? Nelly's laughing. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna shut the door and then we're gonna come up with plan B. Okay, so I wanna give you guys some full disclosure on how I'm doing this. Drizzy's in the middle of us. I'm trying to get Chris in the frame. What happened? Are you excited? Do you think that we should go and surprise her? Yeah! Yeah, Jersey! Chris behind the scenes. Yay, Jersey! <laughs> Yay! You think we should go surprise her? Yeah! <laughs> Do you think she'll like it? Yeah, of course, right? Do you know that she got a jersey shirt? Yeah! Do you want to tell her thank you for getting a jersey shirt? Yeah! You like that? You know what else she got? A sniffer shirt! Isn't that nice? Yeah! Full disclosure, guys. This is what we're up to. If you didn't understand already, I'm gonna drop off these three shirts at a fan's house and hopefully they're gonna answer the door. Here is how I have the address and stuff. Obviously, when you guys buy shirts and they need to be shipped out, I get the address. So that's one thing. How do I have her phone number? Okay, so I emailed her because one of the shirts wasn't in stock and I also kind of wanted to test the waters, see how big of a fan she is, and she wrote back.
back and then I wrote back and she wrote back. So like just trying to gauge like if maybe she would actually enjoy me coming to the house or if I'm a creeper. And if it doesn't work, I blame George because it's all his fault. This was his idea. Okay, we're gonna call her now and pretend that Amazon's attempting delivery but it needs to be signed for. Someone's attempting delivery. Yeah. Right, should should we call and be like Sniffer Society is attempting delivery at your house now? Well, then she definitely would know. Okay. Right? I mean, we could still say we're UPS. Let's say we're UPS. Yeah. And in the bottom of her email, I got her phone number. So that's how, you know, this is all working. Okay, so are you nervous? So you're gonna have to call and say, we attempted delivery earlier and nobody was home. Um, yeah. UPS would like to know, would you like Redelivery. Will someone be home to sign for the package? Yeah, or should we drop it off at our facility? What if they say drop it off at your facility? No, we'll just have to be pretty insistent that we're. You know how to do this? Do you got it? Are you good? Um, I'm gonna use my Ryan's Roses techniques. Okay. You know what Ryan's Roses you, yeah, is. you have Ryan's Roses. That's like that, that. I think was copied by like Goomba Johnny or something Probably. in New York. But Jersey, are you ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna get your phone number. I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna do this. What if she says, um, I'm at the house right now. When did you? No, we say we attempted earlier. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is the cell phone number. Okay. Okay, dial it. Hold on, I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna say. Her name is. Tina. Hi, may I please speak to Tina? Yes, uh, we attempted delivery today. Uh, you have a package from Parrot Station. Yeah. And you put it on speaker so we could hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then say, um, it, it, the package needs to be signed for. Are you at home? When, or? Yeah. Oh, we'll just say that the package, we won't even say that they've attempted delivery. We'll just say like, the package gonna be signed, needs to be signed for. We just weren't calling to verify. You'll be home later today, so someone can sign for Is it. that normal? None of this is normal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. She's okay. either gonna say yes, or she's gonna be like, I don't believe you because you're calling from a 626 number. Oh, 626? That's perfect. That sounds so far out. Is that even California? It's Pasadena. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey <laughs> Was that funny, Jersey? Is that funny? She knows all about funny. Don't forget to do speaker. All right. Just say hi, Tina. This is uh. Hopefully, none of my birds. Leave a message if she doesn't. She'll get back to you. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. Uh, I am attempting to deliver a package to your residence, and uh, it needs to be signed for. So uh, I'm just trying to verify uh, if uh, when you'll be home later today. Um, a package? Yeah, I've got uh, this. I have a package from Parrot Station. Oh, yes. Oh, she has it signed for? That's funny. Okay. Um... <sighs> I'm going to be home in like an hour if you want to come by in an hour. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll put me right around that area. Wow, that's a special delivery. Okay, I'll be, I'll be, I, sorry, I'm trying to cross the street and not get killed. <laughs> oh, wait, um, let me just confirm the time. Sure. So 5.15, I will be there. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I okay, will see you soon. You. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye bye. Like, does she sound, does she sound like? She sounds interested. She's excited to hear it's from Parrot Station. Do you think though? Or is she like, oh, what the heck? She has to get it signed for? Oh, that is a special delivery. <laughs> I think she's, I think she's all game. I think you do? Because you were yeah. nervous last night. Well, I was, but I hadn't been talking to her. I don't know what her deal is. But she sounded very, I think when you, once we, that's why I wanted to make sure I said Parrot Station, because that was going to be the tell. Either she was going to be like, oh yeah, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, she was like, oh yeah, that, okay. I yeah. don't know if she was that excited. I'm more nervous now. Oh, really? I'm so nervous. We have to get a Starbucks. Everybody's <laughs> laughing. Oh my God. Do we get Starbucks before or after? 
Do we take Jersey? No, she'll throw up the whole car ride. I would have loved to take you, but you would throw up the whole ride. Do you think her kid's there? Yeah, if she's gonna be there, I can't imagine her kid's not there. How old was it? You know, Eleven. It was, it's still too young to be doing like volleyball after school, right? In the pen. I don't know. I had no no uh, physical talents whatsoever. <laughs> I actually failed at a gym class, and uh, Dad had to go talk to the teacher in high school and have a word with her. That worked. How did you fail? I didn't really want to wear sneakers, so I only wore heels to school, and then I couldn't participate. You really were like Alicia Silverstone in clothes. Yeah, I was. When my mom saw it, she started worrying about me. She was like, is that how you think? I was you like, have a note? kind of. <laughs> well, one day I'll tell you guys about my driver's test, okay? <laughs> you laughing. Are you laughing too? You're laughing, you're laughing, we're all having fun. Okay, we're gonna reconvene here okay guys real good investigators prepare themselves i found her house on google maps and i have found the bush that chris is gonna hide in right chris yeah <laughs> with the camera because i obviously can't and then chris you have to go from here <laughs> chris you need to go from brown behind this tree and then sneak over and hide right behind this door got it yes Okay, so um, this house is probably like less than 10 miles away or whatever, but because of Los Angeles traffic, it's gonna take us maybe 40 minutes to get there. So we have to get ready and be on our way. And uh, I don't know if I should get a Starbucks before or after, like job well done. You deserve a Starbucks. So I'll decide. How cute is her spot? She like loves it there. She has direct access to the stairs. Yeah. Chris, why don't you show me what your plans are? Show me, you said I could do do yeah, one of- move is you gotta have a hat on. Move one. Keep your head down, you wait for her to open the door. She opens the door, you go, ta-da. <laughs> and then, what's my other option? You knock on the door, you put your back to the door, you wait for her to open it, and then you do your little hair move. Hello. Like I'm Marlene McCullen. I thought you were gonna pull a Britney Spears and go. Yeah. Hush, don't stop. And na 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 do or say. Rocky, I have to go. I need you to wish me luck, okay? Proud bird. He's like, uh uh. Oh yay! Okay, cool. I should have planned this out better because I gotta get the birds ready, and they ain't acting like they're going nowhere. Yes. Got my hat on, ready to go. Who purse? What else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, almost forgot the actual package. These packages I gotta drop off for delivery and this is her actual package. So, here we go. Okay, that's, that's the, the cry of I wanna come with you and it also means that I have to leave the house right away. Don't wanna leave her but. Sometimes you have to leave the house when you have a bird, and that's sometimes what they do. And I'd love to bring her, but she gets so car sick. Okay, here we go. You ready, Chris? Yep. Okay, good. Time to go. What are you doing? The way I asked Charlie if he wants a baby con here. Yeah, he's like, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, it's a cute one. We're going to do that thing, that prank with the shirts. Someone's behind you. Yeah. You want to come? Okay. Bye. I can't, uh, I'm literally so nervous. Okay, we just drove by the house and spotted it. We know what it looks like from Google, uh, whatever, but it's dark. So, did you see any lights there? I saw lights inside. We'll see, we'll see what I this camera swear, can do. I swear, Chris, I saw a head in the window and anyone that watches my show recognizes my Mini Cooper. You have the package, right? Uh, it's not that. It's right here, I see. Okay, and my hat. Hey, I'm so nervous. Okay, there's no light, so we're gonna have to use like a flashlight or something. I swear, wasn't I wearing a hat? I like took it off to drive. I'm making a spectacle of myself. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, do I look at the skies? Sort of. Okay, so this is a problem. We drove past it this way. We need to be on the other side, right? So that you can hide in that bush. They won't, they won't be able to recognize us walking on the sidewalk. Okay, okay, okay. I think we'll be all right. All right, where's the package? I can't do this! Okay, what? I don't know what to do. 
Are you filming? Yeah. Okay, it's the one with the snowman. What if she's just like, oh, thank you, bye. No, it can't be, right? I swear, that's the head I thought I saw in the window, but it's a chair, right? Chris, where are you gonna hide? I'm walking the dog across the street. Shut up. That's what I thought. Are you still filming? I'm still filming. Okay. okay. I'll just get... No. There's light. There's light. I'll go up first. You go first and hide in the... Hide right near the name, the number of the house. Yeah, that's right. I'll go. go. I'll go, just go, go right go. behind you. Go. No, she'll see me, though. She'll see you. A bird just flew. She's right go, there. Go, go. She's looking. Are you sure? Are you sure about this? I don't think so. I'm like, listen, like, you know, I I, I think it'll be fun. Worst case, she's like, get out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I actually watched your video today that you posted and you put all the purple bags in the mail. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that was quick. But then I thought, okay, <laughs> she films them and they're off. <laughs> and, and then at one point, I was going to send you an email and I'm like, woman, I'm just going to come pick it up. Do you want me to just come get them? It's easier because I knew you were having issues like shipping stuff. And then I thought, are we going to get it for Christmas? Oh my God. <laughs> because one of them is from her. Yeah, do you want to see them? Do you want to see them? Oh no, oh, it's a surprise? No, no, no. I oh. didn't tell her that I got it, but it's okay. Okay. This is fake. Look at fake. She's so sweet. Look at you. You have your own table. Come here. You're so cute. That's yours. You're okay. Oh, you're so sweet. She's cute. <laughs> oh, and it's all your fault sweet. that I have one now. It is? Because of Leo. And I was watching Leo and I have enough birds as it is. I have six total. You have six? Yeah. Can you see them? <laughs> yeah, one is over here. Oh, um, yeah. Come on back. This was my disguise. I know. <laughs> Pesto. Oh my so god. Hi, Ernest. Oh. She's very sweet. Hi, baby. Yeah, she's oh, really cute. Oh, the guys. <laughs> mm. All your birds have good sniffs. Yeah, she smells good. <laughs> How lucky are we that we came to the house with six birds? Yeah. Oh. She actually, I walk her oh. to school to pick up my son. And she never flies or anything, and she took off. She flew yeah. across the street yeah. and back. And I just had Picasso flashbacks and I said, you're not going anywhere ever again without a harness. So right? I freaked out. I'll go get past her. She's being annoyed. Who's your favorite bird? I don't know. I'll bring the other two. 
Oh my god, see? It all worked out, Chris. And now I'm getting the sniffs from like the best sniff ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's Romeo. Who's this? This is Casper. So Casper, Romeo. Pesto. Pesto. Hi. Pesto pasta. Ooh. And it's a baby. She's a red factor sun kind. Oh my god, you guys are so cute. <laughs> this is the cutest conure. Can you see this bird really clearly? Look how special. Yeah. All your birds are so nice with strangers. <laughs> she prefers men. She does? Yeah, because her original owner was a guy. And, but she loves my 16 year old son. Always flirts with men. If we're She's walking so on the street, cute. she whistles at men. You have such cute <laughs> birds. Thanks. So you have six birds. You yeah, said. I have two other Conyers. Oh my God, Casper, you're so handsome. Oh my I God. I did your, you know, I've been doing your time fours. Yeah. With her. And I have the funniest story because I do time for Apple because I work yeah. at home. And so every day at 12 o'clock, I'll bring her downstairs time for lunch. And then I'll yeah. take her the apples and I'll say time for Apple. And then one day I had to be at work all day because we do surgeries. And I was there and my mom was home. And at 12 oh, o'clock, yeah. when I got home, she said 12 o'clock. She said apple for an hour. And she said, I just gave up and I took her an apple. <laughs> Where did you get your birds? So he's someone who just rehomed them. Yeah. Her, I should say. These two came from Chicago. Wow. Now I go to the bird store where you always go. Birds Plus? Yeah, and I'm not allowed to buy birds <laughs> anymore because um, my boyfriend said that we're moving out like in a month to a new house and he said, we need to talk if you get more birds before you get a new bird. Yeah. So, but he loves them. She loves him. He's her he favorite. He loves them. That's good. Yeah, he's really good with them. Oh. And I have a bird room. So, <laughs> in her new place? Yes. Oh my and God. And we're going to make a wall. And I need a They have room. a window and they're going to have their, it's right amazing. by the kitchen. So I can, hey, 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 so it's hey, hey, hey. amazing. So hopefully. I want an atrium. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where you like walk into the house, but in the middle is like an outdoor, but like in the middle of the house. And then like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. oh yeah, my God, you're so cute. Come here. Oh, you fly. Where are you going? That's a nice glide. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh. the only boy. The rest are, well, yeah. I have two boys and the rest are girls. Well, I love that you have them all out and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're Yeah, this just two. I have three others. Older, a little older. I have an 18 year old, wow. 16 year old, and a 13 year old. So they rotate oh, with yes. the birds. So yeah. everybody gets a bird. And do they all love birds? Mm -hmm. So I need kids. Yeah, you do. Actually, there is I had a, a reason. Here. I've had quite a few birds in my lifetime parakeets. And I love it. It's nice that you have all these birds. So you probably don't need to buy anymore because, no, I'm not because honestly, to. you might be one of the people that I'm like, hey, do you want? Like, no, <laughs> I'm not allowed to what? until I get settled. I can't. I'm sorry that I'm like doing like. I do that all the time with her because she's the most tolerant. He's too sweet. He's really sweet too. But this is a really beautiful conure. Yeah, she's I don't think. Sweet. Okay, where do when you want to she... go? Who is your Who's your person? Are you all their person except for the girl? Well, because I work from home. Yeah. I've turned her around. <laughs> She was in love with my son when I first got her, but she's with me all day. We have a pair of bird parties in the morning. That's the routine. That's my routine. Yeah, I wake up, I take my son to school, I go to the gym, and then I go take my son to school, and when I come back, it's time to vacuum. And then they all sit on their little perches, and then I turn on the music, and recently I've been doing Christmas tunes for them. Yeah, mine is so. Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas. <laughs> I put on jerseys like this, and they're all like this. I do it in the morning when before they eat, and then they eat together and then at night before they go to bed it's dance party yeah i say we must look so stupid like sometimes me and george were like uh, and yeah. running around and like around the table right. with the birds i'm like we look it's so me dumb. in the mornings about 9 a.m with the birds wow and then at 12 o'clock because i pick up my son from kindergarten when i come back it's time for lunch then it's time for apples do you love birds they're not mad at me yeah. you do i love that the Amazon was all because of Leo. Because I sat there going, oh, I want one. 
And then I had a, at that point, I was talking to my boyfriend and I said, I'm done, I'm not getting any more birds, I promise, I'm not. And then I started researching Amazons and he said, why are you researching Amazons? I said, I just, I just wanna look, I just wanna look. And then I found her and he said, I knew we were done when you started looking at them. So he loves birds. Yeah, he loves them. See you guys, you can find somebody yes. that loves birds. Like I meet all these women that are like, well, I have so many birds, I can't find someone. I'm like, what? Transfer the love, man. No. Transfer got, the love. He's got special shirts so they can stand on him. My son Connor absolutely loves him. Oh my god. So he has a he wears special shirts so if they get dirty he doesn't care and they can grip on. Wow. I wanted to give you something. I actually bought you a gift. What? What? Like you knew I was coming? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna send it to you. Because <laughs> I know that you like warm. Are you filming this? Because I know you, you're really always cold. This? And oh I know your god. favorite color is red. And the reason. Oh my god. Tell me the reasoning. Because the reasoning is because I watch you in the gym, which is, I wonder what people are thinking behind me when I'm doing the gym yeah. stuff and there you are and all these yeah. parrots. And I was <laughs> at the gym and I watched you talk about your gluten issues. Yeah. And I was sitting at the gym and all of a sudden you talk about your birthday. When you went to your birthday, you ate something wrong and you got the stabbing knife pain. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God. And so my boyfriend was working out and said, come over here, you gotta listen to this. I said, I have been complaining about this for, I would say I'm 44, so 30 years I've been complaining about yeah. it. Yeah. So I said, I think that's my issue because yes. I had other autoimmune issues when yes. I was pregnant. And so I cut it all out. I said, I'm going gluten free. I'm gonna cut it all out and I'm gonna try it. And honestly, I've never felt better in my life. I've never had, I don't have stabbing pains anymore. Right? I don't feel They're like mysterious. Yes, and he's like, you know, you need to go to the doctor and get that checked out. I'm like, well, I'm not dead. It's fine, it'll pass. I'll get better. And then I got really sick after having, because I wouldn't eat sushi. I never had sushi. And then I started eating sushi. And there's tons of gluten and soy sauce to the point where I almost had to go to the hospital. I just almost had to go to the ER. The doctor, I work with doctors. And so the doctor said, take a Benadryl. And he said, maybe you have some sort of bacterial thing with the sushi. And I never figured it out until I was watching your video. Stop. So I've never, honestly, I've never felt better. So I was so happy. I keep telling my boyfriend, I've never felt better. Right? I've Don't never you, do felt... you not spend my life with stabbing pains? Yes. And I'd be double over at the tired. movie theater. I'd be like, oh my yes. gosh, I gotta go home because I can't watch this movie because uh, it started. And I used to think, I thought it was coffee. No. I thought it was yeast. I went through everything. I've cut everything out. I said, I'm not, I'm lactose intolerant. I went through everything. Thing. And I never figured it out. And then when you talk about the stabbing pace, I'm like, how can I told you that? It feels like knives are going it's through It's like me. knives are ripping yes. you up. Yes. Yeah. It'll happen out of nowhere. And I sit there and I do a diary of everything I eat. And then I'm, never did it cross my mind that it would be gluten. Absolutely never. Until you mentioned it. And I thought, this is crazy. And I was telling my doctor recently, he's like, how did you figure that out? I said, watch this parrot thing. <laughs> birds and I watched this parrot YouTube station <laughs> and the YouTuber has the issue <laughs> What? No. So, hence I got you oh a little gift. Can I'm I like, give you a really biggest help. hug? I can't believe Thank it. Thank you so much. They never would have seen us coming. We did good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. So. Can we request more videos of your dad? Yeah. Okay, so my parents are coming in January. Okay. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos with them. Come here. Oh. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, this is the cutest bird. She doesn't bite much. See, I told you, Chris, I was meant to come over here. She knew I was coming. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> That's why I put it down here. I'm like, if she, when she shows up, I'm going to give it to her. <laughs> what? Usually if I email someone, they're excited that I emailed and I'm like, I'll test the waters and see like if it would be completely abnormal when he responded and we had a thing. I was like, Chris, we had some email exchanges. <laughs> this is gonna be okay. Well, you mentioned in one of your videos that you're thinking about. I said that, I said she's gonna know. Oh my she God. bought three t-shirts and I was at the gym <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, just, I think I bought three, it was so long ago. <laughs> In today's video, you dropped them in the mail and said, oh, there's hope. And then it was you who called. I'm like, am I being served? <laughs> like, who calls and delivers t-shirts? 
Then I thought, because I said 5.15, and I'm looking at the thing, I'm saying, well, it's a delivery guy and he's not here at 5.15. I thought, but Marlene is always late. Stop! All your birds are quiet, just like my house. Yeah, they're not screaming. Neither do mine. My birds don't scream because they're out and they get what they want. Right. And it's like they you only found scream when I come home. Like of when course. I come home and then it's pandemonium yeah. and my neighbor texts me, like, what is going on? There? <laughs> I just arrived! It's my party! <laughs> just letting you know, I'm famous I'm in the house. Because you know neighborhood knows. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for this. That's oh, you're welcome. Really funny. It's I'm dying. Super bright red. Oh, Thank let me you give so you a hug. Much. Thank you so much oh, for coming. My my sniffers know me way too well. I can't even <laughs> pull one on them. But I'm so happy. Can I have a hug? Well, I thought about you know faking it, like pretending I didn't know. Wait, so you really, really knew? Yeah, no, I was gonna. I was like, oh, but I'm such a bad actress. I'm like, this is bad. I'm not gonna be able to pull this off. And she said. Why'd you kind of clean the house? Is <laughs> somebody coming? I said, oh no, nobody. Nobody's coming. I actually thought the same to Chris. When we made the call and we're laughing, I was like, if she knows, at least she'll be makeup ready. Yes! Because <laughs> when you said that, I'm like, you better not walk in in the she, morning. If she's, I can't get anywhere in the morning. I'm getting a this today. I love you guys so much. Bye, baby. Oh. Thank you for all your videos. Seriously. Thank you so oh, you have a feather on your leg. I do. That's where I like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'll stop harassing you now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. That was hilarious. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> the birds. Okay. So, I knew she might know. And Chris, these people, when they, when they, when they, they follow, they follow, they are hardcore. That was amazing. Cause she wasn't just like someone that like, she knew everything. Like I cured her. Mom, dad, so you wanted me to be a doctor, but like, I'm curing people. This was absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much. You never know. I might come to you. Maybe we'll make this a thing. <laughs> Maybe, but if I come, you gotta be as cool as Tina. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, engage, not cage. Uh, check if you're gluten intolerant. Please subscribe. I love you so much. Bye! Tina, this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna wear it every day. Oh, and by the way, George now thinks he saved your life because he suggested that maybe I have a problem with gluten. I was the one that diagnosed the whole situation with you and gluten. So I'm the one that saved your life. You also tried to kill me twice. Yeah, but that didn't work.